Uh, what's that? I don't know, what's that? I'm gonna go break a window. That window leads to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could find a way to open it. Come on, we can do it. Come on. Oh my god, he's not gonna do it, is it? I get it all paid off. <laughs> god, there's no way it's stuck. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine, Bets, it's fine. Oh dear, I thought he was gonna be able to open that then. Nope, can't go down that way. Oh, I'm gonna have to put a brick through it. I really didn't want to put the brick through it. Oh well, Rick's going through the window. Sorry, window. There we go. It undoes the lights. Now I can open it. Push the glass outside. I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no choice. I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. Yeah, you go to sleep. It's fine. Wow, that was a fast sleep. Oh, oh here we go. Go through there. There we go. He's eating. I don't know what he's eating, but he's eating something. Oh, sandwich. Ew, that sounds gross. Milk. It's just, it's just empty in the house out. to eat here. Hmm. Nothing to eat here. You've eaten enough, mate. I think. I think. You have one new message today at 10.41. Uh -oh. Hello, Miss Harper. I'm Detective Carla Valenti from the New York City Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'll try calling you back a little later today. Delete the messages. Oh, there's a wall there. TV. Oh, there you are. I'm not going to turn on the telly because I don't really want to. Oh! And for an expert's point of view on the subject, uh, we have okay, to it today forced one me of to. The most on That's Mayan not fair. Dmitry Kuryakin of the Mesoamerican University here in New York. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. And uh, I wanted to ask you if... A specialist in Mayan civilization? 
He'd know what Technicline means. Yes, she would. Gotta meet this Professor Kuriakin. Okay, we gotta go meet this Professor. Uh. Oh, she's home. The police are looking for me. I needed a place to hide for a few hours. Lucas, what happened to you? The papers are saying that you killed several people. Is it true? The whole thing is very complicated. All I can tell you is that I am not a murderer. I know you're not capable of doing what they said you did, Lucas. You have to explain. You have to tell them you're innocent. I've got to find out exactly what's happened to me, Tiffany. That's the only way I can prove my innocence. Uh oh. It's the police. It's, it's the police. What are we gonna do? Look, I'm sure they just want to ask you a few questions. Uh -oh. Just stay calm, Tiffany, and answer their questions. I'll I'll hide in the apartment. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Miss Harper? Miss Harper, are you home? Yes, just a second. I'm coming. Right, it's hiding now. Lucas, I can't keep them waiting anymore. I've got to open the door. Well, it shows him looking under the bed. So, I don't know whether that will be enough for me to get out of it. Miss Harper? Yes? I'm Detective Todd of Miles NYPD. I'm working on the Lucas Kane case. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? We're involved, yes. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane recently? Has he tried to contact you? I went by his apartment the day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. We hardly spoke. I haven't heard from him since. Do you mind if I look around your apartment? Well, it, mm. it's just that... Hey, I'll only be a minute. Go ahead. Get ready. Oh, that heartbeat's not helping. Doing a little redecorating? Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. Uh -huh. It's taking a long time with my job. I don't have much time to... And what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. Oh, here we go again. A bit faster this time. What happened to your window here? Oh, that. I broke the glass while moving some furniture last night. The window repairman promised to stop in today, but I guess he forgot me. Oh, here we go again. Ah! Jeebus, too fast. Oh, get ready. Damn it. Thank you for your cooperation, miss. If Kane does try to recontact you, please call me right away. Here's my card. Well, hey. Be careful, miss. Kane's a very dangerous man. Well, hey, he made it. Can't believe I got through that. Oh! Oh, he's at the asylum. She's at the asylum. I don't remember this part of the game at all. Hello. My name is Barney. It's Detective Barney! Carlo 
You've come to see Janus, isn't that right? He's down the second corridor on the right. You finished. Oop, they just fried somebody. Another power outage. Six times a day. No surprise. Not a power it's outage. They're there. freaking frying people. Good thing the Electro therapy. Got its own backup generator. Remember, Janus' cell is down the second corridor on the right. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. Second corridor on the right. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> All he needs is a pink face and he'll be perfect. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by Cursed. Kane was the killer. There was no doubt about that. Second corridor and to yet, my right. Just what happened that way. In the strange case of the Kirsten Some colleague Jones. down here somewhere. Hello, detectives. There we go. I'll wait for you here. I found Perfect. it. Thanks. I found it. Yay. Oh dear, Jekyll and Hyde. Here we go. It's a really dark game, this. Maybe more people should try it. Whoa, he's freaky. That's one scary looking dude. Detective Carla Valenti of the New York Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if it's all right with you, of course. Uh, Could we talk a little about Kirsten? What really happened in the store? Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? <laughs> yep. I'm mad, you know. What I have to say is meaningless. Isn't that right? Maybe you're not sick. Maybe it's that no one has taken the time to really listen to you. Oh. A man and a woman. In a laundromat. She's a little overweight. Hispanic looking. Him. He has a knife planted in his eye. Oh dear. How do you know that? I was there. I can see through his eyes. Every one of the murders. I'm there. Uh, who? who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. Oh dear. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. What happened in the laundromat? A sacrifice. A human sacrifice. The killer. Oh dear. And his victim. There have been other identical murders, haven't there? The killings won't stop until they've found the little girl. Why? Why are they killing? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. Who? The Orange Clan are secretly running everything. They're watching us, listening to us all of the time. They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're He's a bit of a nut job, this guy, isn't he? How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question of life. They want to be eternal. It's 42. I, I have to go now, Anton. Thank you for your help. It's already too late. We're all going to die from the cold. It'll <laughs> be the dawn of a new race. The end of humanity. <laughs> He's a proper nut job. The end of humanity. <laughs> I was listening that crazy uncle that you meet. Can I get close to it? Oh, what was I meant to look at then? Aha. Sort of spiral drawn hundreds of times on the wall of the cell. Why is he obsessed by this symbol? Wait, she's not asking of him. Look. Hello, big boy. Okay, here we go. Everything go all right? No. Nope. walk you to. Damn it! This time it looks serious. It looks to me like our backup electrical generator hasn't kicked in. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll wait here in the meantime. What was that noise? Oh shit. <laughs> the cell doors. Oh 